Well, it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for another edition of Funny Fun Fucking Fact Friday on Sean Strife. So go grab your helmets, your crayons, your coloring books, and run to your favorite government-funded safe space, because we're going to fuck some shit up and make some snowflakes melt. Get a job, be a slave, pay your taxes, what the fuck? And we are back. Now, before we get started, I would like to state, as usual, that all facts shared today on Sean Strife have been feverishly looked over once or twice by a professionally not certified fact checker and personal joint roller, Julio. Julio further states and has signed official documentation stating that all facts shared today on Sean Strife are 5 million percent correct, or he will personally climb over the wall back to Mexico. Julio, that shit's not necessary, man. Good old sleepy creepy Joe's just letting y'all in for free. Did you know that you are 5 million times more likely to catch COVID-19 if you do not wear a diaper on your face? Nah, that's correct. According to Dr. Fauci, that is 5 million percent correct. Did you know that CNN, MSNBC, ABC, the BBC, and the CBC are in fact the enemy of the people? Mm -hmm. And they are nothing more than the information arm of the Socialist Globalist Party and their agenda. Did you know that you are five million times more likely to be a member of Antifa if you cannot figure out which bathroom that you are supposed to use? Yes, that is five million percent correct. Did you know that members of Doug Ford's cabinet have suggested hiring more COVID cops who patrol the streets and issue fines or imprisonment in their brand new taxpayer funded COVID sectors? Yep, soon enough you'll need a COVID pass to travel the streets of Ontario. But this is for your health. And remember, freedom is a privilege granted to you by the government. Did you know that Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is trying to pass a bill in Parliament that will allow mail-in voting similar to what happened in the United States? Yeah, yeah. Good old Justin Trudeau. Did you know that the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, is in fact not dead? Nope. I just picked up some really good weed from him, man. I mean, he could have been Jamaican, though. I don't know. I'm pretty fucking stoned. But he did say that his name was Elvis. Did you know that you are 5 million times more likely to be cool as shit if you subscribe to this channel right now? Yep. According to Julio, our professionally not certified fact checker and personal joint roller, this is 5 million times correct. Did you know that if you do believe that this new coming age of socialism is a good thing, then you are in fact fucked in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out how that went in Russia for the Bolsheviks. How about the Nazis? You remember Hitler's little bum chums, the National Socialist Party? Hey, how's that shit going in Cuba, man? Whoa, wait, don't forget. Socialism, working well in Venezuela. Yep. Yeah. The good thing is, is that when socialism does come in, you'll at least be able to social distance in the bread lines, collecting food for your family, talking to your neighbors. Did you know that Nickelodeon's children's show Playhouse or Clubhouse or some goddamn thing has higher ratings than Joe Biden's inauguration and gets more viewers than CNN Prime? <laughs> CNN, the most trusted source for bullshit. Did you know that the radical left believe that virtue signaling, identity politics, and victimhood is, in fact, the new gold rush? The article further states that the universe does not owe any of you hypocrites a goddamn thing. So pull up your fucking panties and join people guy. Did you know that Margaret Trudeau, Justin Trudeau's mother, is rumored to have had orgies and gangbangs with the Rolling Stones? Then she went on a road trip with them. <laughs> Justin Trudeau's mother. Then, while married to Justin Trudeau's father, Pierre Trudeau, yep, she goes to Cuba and stays with Fidel Castro and comes back pregnant with baby Justin. <laughs> they sure don't make dictators like they do in Cuba. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just had a really crazy fucking thought, man. This shit here is kind of like how Freddy Krueger was born. Think about this shit for a minute, man. His mother, Margaret Trudeau, got pregnant by everybody in the Rolling Stones in those gangbangs. Then you sprinkle a little bit of Fidel Castro in there for good measure. And you've got it. The DNA for Justin Trudeau. Yep. Justin Trudeau putting the dick into dictatorship. 
Did you know that Chester Bedingfield of Lincoln Park and Chris Cornell from Soundgarden committed suicide months apart in the exact same manner just before they were going to release a documentary exposing high-profile pedophiles from around the world? Even more interesting, those two other people associated with this project were also Epstein. Did you know that back in the really, really olden days when Joe Biden was just a young man, they used to use sheep intestines as condoms? Yep. And apparently, sleepy, creepy Joe Biden didn't get the memo that you're supposed to remove the intestines from the sheep before you use them. Yep. Sleepy, creepy Joe Biden saving the world one sheep at a time. Did you know that you are five million times more likely to be cool as fuck if you smoke at least five joints a day? Yep. According to Julio, our professionally not certified fact checker and personal joint roller, this is five million percent correct. Did you know that in 2021, you can peacefully protest small businesses right to the ground with a big ass lighter and a gallon of gasoline, but you cannot eat inside of that same restaurant? Well... That's it for me. On behalf of Julio, our professionally not certified fact checker and personal joint roller, this has been another edition of Funny Fun Fucking Fact Friday. Join me next time. Where we'll talk about more shit that will make a snowflake melt. And before you go, don't forget to smash the shit out of that subscribe button. That's right. You heard me. I said smash that subscribe channel.